Welcome to the Tesla Powerwall 3 Masterclass. And I'm Jake Warner, Director of the Penrith Solar Center, and I'll be running you through this lesson today. Here's what we're going to cover. Minimum versus maximum amount of solar on a Powerwall 3. More MPPTs equals more solar. Designing for expansion on the roof and designing for expansion on the ground. Minimum versus maximum amount of solar. Minimum amount of solar. In order to charge the Powerwall 3 all year round, you'll need at least five kilowatts of solar. Of course, some people will install the Powerwall 3 without any solar at all. And that's totally fine if you're planning on playing the VPP market and putting your Powerwall 3 on a plan like Amber. But if you're planning on maximum self-consumption and charging your battery every single day from solar, we recommend about five kilowatts minimum to ensure that you charge the battery even through those short winter days. Maximum amount of solar. Available roof space becomes a factor as Powerwall 3 has the potential for up to 20 kilowatts of solar, which is around 44 panels. 20 kilowatts of solar does mean that you are going to have some wasted energy in your summer months, but the design flexibility of the Powerwall 3 and taking full advantage of the government's STC scheme, which means you can overload the batteries with as many panels as you can fit, it's pretty likely that your roof space will be filled before you actually reach 20 kilowatts of solar. More MPPTs equals more solar. What is MPPTs? Well, they are multiple PowerPoint trackers. And in the solar game, we talk about them like DC inputs into an inverter. So historically, most solar inverters had two inputs, tracker A and tracker B. These inputs would typically go to one roof face for each tracker. Powerwall 3 is a game changer with three trackers included. This gives us more design flexibility and means we can have more solar on the roof. MPPTs on Powerwall 3. More trackers is exciting for homeowners and installers as this opens up for more design flexibility and opportunities for installing solar on more roof faces. Not only is there more MPPTs, but there is high power MPPTs. Not only does the Tesla Powerwall 3 have three trackers, but all three trackers are high current inputs, meaning you can install more solar panels per tracker. Designing for expansion on the roof. System expansion on the roof. Tesla Powerwall 3 allows for easy future expansion of PV on the roof with its three tracker design. Roof faces. Although you can expand panels with Powerwall 3, my pro tip is to always fill available roof spaces. This will stop you having two different looking panels on one roof in the future if you do choose to expand. Government incentives actually kill expansion plans. Panels right now are basically free. The STC scheme or government rebate, which is around until 2030, is paid based off the number of panels that you install on your home. So put as many as you can first time around and only plan to expand your panels if you add additional roofs or dwellings later down the track. Why would you not take advantage of a government rebate right now that essentially gives you these panels for free? Always be looking for the way that you can design your system to fit as many panels as you can first time around. There's nothing worse than seeing someone who's installed a system and expanded it later down the track only to have two completely different looking solar panels on one face of their beautiful home, especially if it's a street facing frontage. Designing for expansion on the ground. Wall space. Future expansion plans are important to take into consideration when installing your first Powerwall 3. This is, of course, if you install a Powerwall 3 in the middle of a great usable wall, you've got it nice and symmetrical and everything's looking great. 
but then two years down the track, you decide to install another Powerwall 3 because your energy needs have grown or maybe you've bought an electric vehicle. It's a real challenge to remove the existing Powerwall 3, relocate it over to the right hand side and install a new battery to the left hand side. You should always be thinking about expansion plans today so that when you put the first battery on the wall, you've got a plan B for if you ever want to install a secondary battery or even a third in the future. Stack a kit. Expand your Powerwall fleet side to side or stack them with the Tesla stacker kit. One great feature of the Powerwall 2 was its stacker kit. It allowed us to stack up to three batteries outwards off a wall and get them to look like one seamless battery. It was one of the greatest products that Tesla ever built. And great news, they've carried the stacker kit forward to the Powerwall 3. So your choices are to, to go sideways on the wall and add power walls that way, or you can come off the wall and bolt up to three power walls off your wall. System expansion on the ground. Expand your storage on the ground to a massive 216 kilowatt hours using the Tesla expansion units, which are due quarter one, 2025. When we're talking about 216 kilowatt hours of storage, we are talking about 16 of the Tesla Powerwall 3 units. This is broken down to four primary units which have the inverters inbuilt in them. These are 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage and they will be the units that do the conversion from DC to AC which makes that energy usable in your home. The expansion kits make up the other 12 power walls and they are the units that plug into the smart power wall just for additional storage. These units cannot convert DC to AC and rely on the primary power wall to do the heavy lifting. Thank you for joining me for design considerations with the Tesla Powerwall 3, where we covered both the roof design considerations and the design considerations on the ground with your storage. I'll see you on the next one.